Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in virtual reality. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your Oculus Quest 2 graphics to insane levels using SideQuest and you don't even need a VR ready PC or laptop. Interested? Let's get straight into it then and remember, born to respawn. Before we start, the channel is growing rapidly at the moment, and if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please consider subscribing and maybe dropping a like on this video. You can also support the channel via Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Thanks. You've just got your Oculus Quest 2, and you're very happy with the upgrade from the original. 1832 by 1920 per eye resolution, and that powerful XR2 Snapdragon chipset, all wrapped up in that lovely pure white package. Then you start to notice people raving about virtual desktop and how it can push the Quest 2 to almost Valve index levels of graphical fidelity, but still retain its wireless freedom. This makes you sad because you don't have a VR ready PC or laptop to run the virtual desktop app. Well, I don't want any of my viewers to be sad about their Quest 2 purchase. So what if I told you, you can have that graphical upgrade and you don't need a VR ready PC or laptop. And I'm going to show you right now Excited? I know I am, so let's get started. This video was made possible by one of my subscribers, a wonderful young gentleman by the name of Drayson. You may remember him from the amazing Population One gameplay footage running in the background. <laughs> He's friending me! <laughs> he brought this to my attention and talked me through all the settings so this video is dedicated to him. Thank you. Here at Mac in VR, we're simple people, so I like to keep things easy and straightforward. So, the only bit of equipment you will need is a USB cable that can connect your Quest 2 to your laptop or PC. Other than that, I've broken it down into four easy steps to get you those graphics that you crave. Step one, switch your Quest 2 into developer mode. If you haven't done so already, register for a developer account here. I have also linked the website in the description. It doesn't cost anything, but you may have to register a credit card or a mobile phone. Next, open the Oculus app on your phone. Make sure your headset is on and detected. Go to settings, tap on your headset, go to more settings, developer mode, and toggle the switch to on. Easy. Step two, you will need an app on your PC called SideQuest. This is an independent storefront for games and content that aren't on the official Oculus Store, but don't worry, this is a legitimate application used by thousands of Quest and Quest 2 users. So download the SideQuest app onto your PC or laptop here. I have linked the website in the description. Install the app and register an account, and you're ready to rock and roll. Step three, Make sure your Quest 2 is on, then connect it to your PC while SideQuest is running. Quickly pop the headset on and you will see this message. Click Allow. Then you can take your headset off. In the top left corner of the SideQuest app, this light will turn green. Step 4. Find the spanner icon in the top right corner of the SideQuest app, then click on it. Go to Refresh Rate and click on 90Hz. You will notice a green bar appears at the bottom of the screen every time you make a change to confirm it has been applied. Scroll down to Fixed Foveated Rendering and click High Top. Scroll down further to CPU and GPU level and click Level 4. Finally, go to Default Texture Size and click 2048. Nearly done, now just tap the power button to put the Quest into standby mode, then tap it again and that resets the headset and applies the settings. There you are. Virtual desktop standard graphics, but no VR ready PC required and completely standalone as well. Plus, if you leave your headset in standby mode, then the settings are persistent. But if you power down or restart your headset, you will have to connect to SideQuest and change the settings again. The footage running in the background is a short montage of side by side comparisons, but I have had to use the Quest's internal recorder or cast feature to capture this footage with OBS to capture the virtual desktop footage. And 
though you may see a difference, you really have to experience it yourself to understand how incredible the Quest 2 is running to its full potential. Lastly, are there any downsides? Well, it has been reported that some games won't work or throw a wobbler when trying to run in these settings. If that is the case, just power down or restart your headset to reset back to normal. Another downside is because you're basically running your Quest 2 to its maximum potential, it will burn through your battery life. In a standalone continuous test with a fully charged Quest 2 and Elite battery strap, my play session lasted just 3 hours and 10 minutes. Now if you've watched this video here, you will know that in a similar situation, just playing standalone on the Quest 2, the battery lasted 4 hours and 36 minutes. But I think this is a fair trade-off, however, when you see the Quest 2 running at 100%, it makes that £299 price point seem even more incredible. Have you tried these settings out yet? Are your preferred settings different to mine? Are you having any trouble we can help you with? Get involved and comment down below. <laughs> that was a fucking epic game. It's going high. Oh no, help Hello. me. He's coming running. up, he's coming up, Serge. He's on top. He's coming up now. Oh, he got me, but he's got no health, mate. That's gonna get him. Oh, oh Serge, he's, he's, he's on he's me. Got, he's got no health, mate. He's, he's got ground. no health. He's coming don't around. let him, don't around let him eat. Well done, boys. Team effort. Nice. Well, that is it for today. If this content has helped you out, please subscribe and maybe drop a like on the video. Remember, if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, you can now support the channel on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. I've got an overlay from developer mode called OVR Op Metrics. So I'm running oh, yeah, I CPU level four, um, frames is 90, and my render resolution is 20, 2048. And it looks, it looks just as nice as my um, uh, virtual desktop.